area under simple curves. In the previous lessons, we have learned that definite integral represents area bounded by the curve y is equal to fx, x is equal to a, x is equal to b and x axis. We can think of complete area PQRS consists of large number of very thin vertical strips. Let us consider an arbitrary strip of height y and width dx. The area of elementary strip TA is equal to y into dx where y is a function of x. This area is called the elementary area which is located at arbitrary position. The total area A of the region between y is equal to fx ordinates x is equal to a, x is equal to b and the x axis is sum of such elementary areas of thin strips from x is equal to a to x is equal to b. So a is equal to definite integral of fx dx from x is equal to a to x is equal to b. Now let us apply similar method to find area bound by curve x is equal to gy, y is equal to c, y is equal to d and y axis. Let us consider a small thin strip in horizontal direction. The elementary area of strip is x into dy. The total area of region bound by the curve x is equal to gy, y axis and line y is equal to c and y is equal to d is given by sum of all such elementary areas. a is equal to sum of elementary areas or a is equal to definite integral of dA from y is equal to c to y is equal to d or a is equal to definite integral of gy dy from y is equal to c to y is equal to d. When the curve under consideration is below x-axis the function fx will have negative values. So the area bound by curve x axis and ordinates x is equal to a and x is equal to b will come out to be negative. So when area is negative, we will take its absolute value. Sometime it may happen that some portion of the curve is above x-axis and some is below the x-axis. The portion below x-axis will give negative area value. So while finding total area, we will take sum of a1 and absolute of a2. Using these methods, let us find the area enclosed by the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square. Because circle is symmetric in all four quadrants, we will find area of circle in first quadrant and then multiply it by 4. Area of circle is equal to 4 times the area of region AOBA. Let us find the area of region AOBA bounded by the curve x is equal to 0, x is equal to a and x axis. Let us consider a very thin vertical strip inside the circle of height y and width dx. The area of elementary strip ta is equal to y into dx. Area of circle in first quadrant a1 is equal to definite integral of y dx from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a. 
as x square plus y square is equal to a square, we can write it in the form of y as a function of x as y is equal to square root of a square minus x square. Substituting in area formula, we will get a1 is equal to definite integral of square root of a square minus x square from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a. Integral of square root of a square minus x square is x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a. So a1 is equal to x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a from 0 to a. Substituting x is equal to a and x is equal to 0. We will get a1 is equal to a square by 2 sin inverse 1 or a1 is equal to a square pi by 4. The total area of circle is 4 times a1. So area of circle is equal to pi a square.